With a new Wolverine and Deadpool movie hitting theaters, we're diving into the real science behind altering human DNA. Did you know that scientists are already editing DNA to fight diseases and potentially extend our lifespan? Imagine healing like Wolverine or having Deadpool's incredible regenerative powers. No more paper cuts or losing bar fights. Join us in this episode of Alternate World, where we'll explore the latest advancements in DNA manipulation and see how close we are to becoming real-life superheroes. Whether you're a science nerd or a superhero fanatic, you won't want to miss this. Ever wonder what it would be like to have bones laced with indestructible metal or the ability to recover from any injury in seconds flat? Well, you're about to find out. Let's dive into the extraordinary world of DNA alterations with our two favorite mutant heroes of the hour, Wolverine and Deadpool. In the Marvel Comics universe, Wolverine's incredible abilities are the result of the Top Secret Weapon X program. This clandestine US government project sought to create the ultimate weapon by infusing his skeleton with adamantium, an unbreakable metal. This not only gave Wolverine his famous claws, but also dramatically extended his lifespan to over a century and a half. Deadpool, on the other hand, owes his powers to a different kind of experiment. In a desperate attempt to cure his terminal cancer, Department K infused Deadpool with a serum derived from Wolverine's mutant DNA. The treatment was successful in curing his cancer, but it also left him with enhanced regenerative abilities and a rather unique appearance. Among the many incredible abilities granted by their DNA alterations, both Wolverine and Deadpool have the remarkable talent of healing from injuries at an astonishing rate. They can recover from wounds that would be fatal to an ordinary human in a matter of seconds. Could unlocking these superhuman healing powers in real life lead to a future where we conquer death itself? Imagine holding the power to rewrite the very code of life. That's what's up in the current state of DNA technology. Ever heard of CRISPR-Cas9? No, it's not the new breakfast cereal. CRISPR is actually a groundbreaking tool adapted from a defense mechanism found in bacteria. Think of CRISPR as a pair of molecular scissors. Scientists can program these scissors to target a specific DNA sequence, snip it out, and even replace it with a new sequence. Sounds like sci-fi, but it's real science. One of the biggest success stories using CRISPR for gene therapy is the treatment of inherited retinal diseases. Scientists have been able to restore vision in patients with certain types of blindness. Incredible, right? CRISPR is even being studied to fight off viruses like HIV. And for those who might have dozed off during biology class, here's a fascinating fact. DNA isn't exclusive to humans. Every living organism carries a genetic code. And where there's a code, the sharpest minds in science strive to enhance it. Over at the Innovative Genomics Institute, scientists are working on gene-edited crops that can withstand harsh climates, potentially solving food shortages. What could this mean for the future? No more hunger, no more diseases. Oh, but just wait, because we're just getting started. Now, for those Marvel fans out there, you must know Deadpool's incredible healing factor allows him to regrow any lost limb, even his own head. But you don't have to go all the way to Hollywood for these shocking abilities. Nature offers some jaw-dropping examples of real-life regeneration. Take salamanders, for instance. These amphibians can regenerate entire limbs, their heart, and even parts of their brain. And while growing back your heart or your head from thin air might sound a bit too incredible, scientists are actively studying these natural marvels. Research labs around the world, like the Whited Lab at the Harvard Stem Cell Institute, are diving deep into the axolotl salamander's genome, trying to figure out how they manage to regrow limbs like it's no big deal. Who knew these pink cuties could hold so much power and knowledge in their genes? Imagine a future where humans could tap into these incredible abilities. Stem cell therapy is already showing promising results in regenerating tissues and organs. And 3D bioprinting technology is advancing rapidly, paving the way for custom-made organs tailored to fit individual needs. 
Now, when we think of genetic editing, we often picture futuristic labs and complex technologies. But did you know that there's a group of creatures out there who are already doing it naturally? A team of scientists led by Joshua Rosenthal at the Marine Biological Laboratory has made a surprising discovery. Octopuses and squid are capable of a type of genetic alteration known as RNA editing. This means that they can edit their genetic information at the RNA level, rather than the DNA level like we typically imagine. Every time they analyze the RNA sequence of a protein in these animals, it comes out slightly different. It's like they're constantly fine-tuning their genetic instructions. This incredible ability is thought to contribute to their sophisticated brains, which allow them to use tools, camouflage themselves, communicate, and evolve slower than other species. Maybe that's why they're considered the aliens of Earth. Rosenthal and his team are hopeful that understanding RNA editing could lead to breakthroughs in treating diseases like cystic fibrosis. And with all the ethical concerns surrounding DNA editing tools like our favorite cereal CRISPR, researchers are exploring RNA editing as a potentially safer alternative. Now, since this is alternate world, let's talk about the coolest ways genetic engineering could make us become superhumans. We could have increased strength, speed, and endurance. One promising approach that already exists involves inhibiting the myostatin gene, limiting muscle growth. In animals, blocking this gene has resulted in significantly increased muscle mass and strength. This research has only made mice look super buff at the moment, but researchers are on the brink of cracking the code on myostatin inhibitors for treating conditions like spinal muscular atrophy. Now, on a more controversial note, scientists are delving into ways to extend human lifespan by targeting telomeres, the protective caps on our chromosomes that naturally shrink as we age. There are a bunch of companies out there claiming they've found a way to extend telomeres, essentially slowing down aging. Libella Gene Therapeutics, based in Kansas, is even offering gene therapy to repair telomeres for the small sum of $1 million a dose. Fancy giving it a try? Or maybe we could just ask Thanos to curse us with immortality and save ourselves a few bucks. And what if you could alter DNA to see the world differently? Tetrachromacy, a condition found in some birds and a handful of humans, lets them see a wider range of colors. Scientists are looking into tapping into this gene to give more people this ability. They're even making studies on animals like owls and cats to find possible genetic tweaks to enhance low-light vision in humans. It's time to quote our favorite phrase here in Alternate World. With great power comes great responsibility. Genetic enhancements, although cool, raise important ethical questions. Who gets access to these upgrades? Could they create a new kind of inequality? Like, will the rich get richer and perfect, genetically speaking, and the rest of us get left in the dust? And what about designer babies, like in The Boys? Are we really going to let parents pick their kids' traits from their looks to how well they can run? Imagine a future where the 1% can afford all kinds of genetic upgrades while the rest of us are stuck as we are. How would that affect our world? And is there any way that we can stop it from happening? What's your take on these genetic enhancements? Should we embrace them or should we proceed with caution? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more mind-blowing episodes. Until next time, stay curious and stay tuned.